Hi, I'm Kate Marie from Slow Aging and today I'm having fat harvesting pending getting a stem cell facelift. Well, my face has actually not been lifted. I'm getting stem cells to, that it will be um, re-injected into various parts of my face to try and regenerate some of the skin texture and volume. These stem cells apparently act more like signalling cells, so they give a bit of a kickstart to your own cells to get them moving again. And uh, Dr. John Flynn is the doctor here that's going to be doing the procedure. And as you can see, I'm good to go. So, Kate Marie, uh, how are you feeling right now? Good. I'm just going to have a few little pin pricks here as the local anaesthetic goes in. The sting just that little bit. And one on this side. Now, because Kate Marie is very slender, and she doesn't have a, a lot of excessive fatty tissue, we're going to prepare four different sites. Now we only need to collect a small amount of fat, but we don't have any large collections in any single area. So we're going to prepare four different areas for the fat collection. In the first instance, what we're going to do is to fill up the area with a tumescent local anaesthetic which will swell the tissues and it also provides an anaesthetic effect so it will uh, be uh, um, reducing any pain and discomfort and uh, it also constricts the blood vessels so that we minimise our, our bleeding. And Kate Marie, you feeling okay there? Yeah. yeah. Kate Marie's had a bit of light sedation but as you can see she's uh, alert and she's able to answer questions. Now you're going to feel a little bit of pushing through here. This is the anaesthetic going in. Okay. Now it's the same as, as like when you're going to the dentist. The needle stings going in. Oh yeah. Now in this particular case we're looking for a deep collection of fat. We don't want to take out anything too superficial because we really don't want to alter her, her overall contour. That was a bit stingy, wasn't it? This is always the bit that stings worse, just that getting that first little bit of local anaesthetic in. So we just go very slowly, just sneak it in very gently. A lot of the times you see uh, a vision of liposuction and it appears very brutal. And that's really most unfortunate because liposuction should not be brutal, should always be very, very gentle. At this stage, we, we wait for the anaesthetic to, to work. So we just uh, allow time the anaesthetic to percolate through the tissues to have its effect because it's a weak solution in a large volume and so it has to disperse through the tissue planes to give us its maximum effect and uh, the most important thing is just to allow time for that to happen. All right how are you going up there Kate Marie? It's okay. You're okay? It's all over now. Oh good, I won't hear it feel anything else. No you won't feel anything else oh, good. from this point on so you just rest Okay. We're going to take a break and we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay. Yeah. So how are you going there, Kate Marie? Fine. How are you doing? You're nice and awake? Yep. Yep. A bit of time for the anaesthetic to, to work and to make sure that uh, it's done its job. We still have some uh, additional anaesthetic left if we need to. Okay. Now we're using just a fairly standard uh, liposuction cannula and we're using the uh, syringe technique. Now I find that a 20 mil syringe fits the, fits the hand very well and in the syringe technique I think that's a, a big advantage. So. We have our 
cannula going through into the area that we've done the, the tumescent before. Now if you focus on the syringe you'll see the fat starting to come up in a minute. And as you can see we're, we're getting a little bit of fat harvest coming up into the syringe. And what we're seeing there is a mixture of fat and of course some of the anaesthetic fluid that we've previously put into place. Now because we've allowed a significant amount of time we can see that there's very very little um, blood and that's a good thing because we don't really want to have uh, any blood in our sample if we can avoid it. And as you can see the harvest process is very very gentle and what we can see here is a collection of fat and there's a little bit of fluid mixed with that. You can see that the fluid and the fat separate out. Now we let that stand for a moment. We'll have a look at that again in uh, a few minutes time. And again, if you focus on the syringe, you'll see the fat coming up. stand for a few minutes and you can see that there's a fairly clear separation between uh, tumescent anaesthetic fluid and fatty tissue. Remove the fluid and I'm just going to transfer the fat into a different sort of a syringe for transport. Now Kate is actually very slim. She's really not carrying a lot of excessive fat. Even though she feels that she is, there's really not a lot to, to be got down here. This is uh, our second syringe. You can see that it's separated out very nicely. So we're going to discard the fluid and keep the fat. And so far we've collected 20 mils of, of fat. We need a little bit more than that, but it's, it's a good homogenous sample. Uh, little to no blood staining. And so once we've reached the amount that we're looking for, that's enough and we'll uh, send this off to the laboratory for processing. As you can see, I'm trying to take uh, equal amounts from each side so that we don't run the risk of uh, potential asymmetry. Now you can see that this sample has got a little bit more blood staining in it because this is the second time we've been back to that area. So our preferred sample is our original one but nevertheless this will separate out fairly nicely. Another good sample, yeah, good quality fat, uh, no blood staining. Okay now this is a good harvest, very good quality fat, virtually no uh, blood staining whatsoever but good uh, concentrated fat and it's going to give us a, a beautiful supply of stem cells.